Hi everybody! Thanks so much for tuning in for another episode of Devotional Diva. My name is Makeup Dr. Cherie. I'm so happy to be with you here today. is Sunday, uh, July the 9th. So it is Sunday. I did go to church today. I did not want to get up and go to church. I had a very long day. Friday, I stayed up all night because I was trying to render the video that I had made to upload Friday and I was having some issues because it was too long. I had technical difficulties. And I'm having technical difficulties talking now. Uh, but technically I had difficulty deciding how long to make it and like trying to edit it and shorten it and I was having issues so I just uploaded it. And then I forgot to make it public so. Um, <laughs> I think it's, it's uh, unlisted right now. And then Saturday I didn't post any videos because I was doing, I did two heads of hair and uh, crochet braids so I had to braid it down and then latch hook the hair in. And that was a lot of fun uh, for some uh, very good people and I was happy to do that. And uh, if I get their permission later on, I'll, I'll show you the pictures. Um, but today, so I did their hair and it took me, it was a long time yesterday. So my hands were like this when I woke up and they hurt so badly and my arms hurt and up in here hurt from like holding my hands and doing the hair. It still hurts a little bit. I need to stretch. I'm in bad shape. So I, I, um, I really had to, to really make myself get out of bed and go to church, but I was like, my legs move, you know, I'm in decent health enough where there's really no reason for me not to be in church. So thank God I was able to get out and go to church. I really enjoyed it. Summit Park Church, if anybody's interested in the Kansas City area, it's in Lee Summit actually. Summit Park Church with Pastor Scott Sombrisky. I might be butchering his last name, I don't know. So, um, but good, good weekend, good weekend. I got a lot done and I would like to do the prayer. I remembered at this time, Psalms 1914, which reads, may these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. And I like to say that to remember that it's not for me, but for the glory of God that I'm doing this because I am a big sinner <laughs> and have been for a long time and I'm not perfect. And I, um, and just that to let other people know that you don't have to be perfect, that God loves you no matter what. Uh, he just loves you as you are. Just come as you are to him. That's all you need to do. So uh, today, today's verse is Mark eleven twenty four, and it reads, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And I love the fact that they say, believe that you have received it, not that you're going to receive it, not that kind of maybe you might get it, like, not that, well, uh, if you act this way and blah, 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 then you might get it. No believe that you have received it and it will be yours and um and so i i got i chose this first we're talking we're going to be talking about hair because i did do some hair this weekend and but i'm going to show you some pictures of the hair that i did for my mom she loves to wear um she likes to change up her hair and it's fun and i like to do it for her so we're a good match and uh, we did a really pretty weave this weekend or not a couple weekends ago actually and uh, but the thing about my mom is she's definitely a prayer warrior. Many people have called that her that, and it is a very good title. And uh, because she is known for prayer, I have friends that come up to me and they're like, "Tell your mama to pray for me." I know that she got a direct line to Jesus, and I'm just like, everybody has a direct line to Jesus, and they're like, "No, mm -mm. yo mama got the line to Jesus." And I said, "Okay, I will have her pray for you," and they and she does. And great things happen, so she's a wonderful woman and uh, likes to get her hair done. Like I said, I love to do hair. Um, she got, we'll show you some pictures here. Um, so what I normally do is when we get the hair, I take a look at it and um, I'll show you the tag from it. And I also get a picture from the internet and show you, but it's the Otre Classic Curl 345 and the DR2730 means dark roots and the 27 and then 30 hair, which is like a blonde and a reddish blonde. And um, so it's really pretty. And I'll show you the webs. We like to keep it in a book so that way we know next time. The five inch is the ombre. So you can see the dark roots here. And the four and the three inch, it's so silky too. It's real human hair. The velvet of Trey Remy uh, are all 2730 mix. There's no dark roots. So we just did the, the, the dark roots in the front there, which is really pretty in it. Um, it came out nice and so we'll see that um, what I do is I'll take a wig base and I'll pin it in the style that I want to sew it on so I can see how it looks and see if there's any adjustments I need to make or where I'm going to put like the centerpiece and that sort of thing the closure 
This hair is really full, so it didn't even actually need a closure. I had one already that I could have used, but it didn't need it. Um, so we'll show you the, the wig base with the hair on. And as you see there, um, it's just pinned on and it's very, very full. And then as we start sewing it into uh, the netting that she has on her hair, um, it gives it a nice base to sew on too. Um, and it sews up pretty quickly too. And then the final product, my beautiful mom. Even sans makeup, she looks fabulous at 69. And you can see that it's very full and fun and kind of like crazy. And um, so she's been wearing it for a while now. We have washed it and it's fun because you can just, we dried it and then curled it in different styles and stuff too. And they'll have some more pictures as well. So anyways, thank you so much for watching today. Uh, I appreciate you tuning in. There's so many things that you can watch, but you're here with me today and that means something to me. So God bless and take care of you. Uh, that's it for me on Devotional Diva and Makeup Dr. Cherie. Have a great week.